Hello, and welcome to this quick introduction to the new release of the Unico Graphical User Interface. This GUI can be used to evaluate all ST sensors, ranging from MEMS motion sensors such as accelerometers, gyroscopes, compasses, and iNEMO modules to environmental sensors. The Unico GUI runs on multiple platforms, from Linux to Mac OS X and Windows operating systems. For this demonstration, we are using the version for Windows. Unico is part of a complete evaluation ecosystem, which includes the STEVAL MKI 109V2 motherboard based on an STM32 F103 high performance ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller and one of the many available sensor adapters. Now let's start the Unico GUI by plugging in the adapter on the motherboard, which is then connected to the PC via USB. After having connected the motherboard to the PC, launch Unico. You must then select the type of sensor you are using and the name of the device you need to evaluate. On the left side of the launcher, select the type of sensor you are using and on the right, the device name. As you can see, there are several tabs on top of the GUI used to configure the sensor. The Options tab can be used for an easy setup of the device. By clicking the Easy Configuration button, you can turn on the device and quickly set a default configuration. The Register tab is used to read and write the contents of registers embedded in the MEMS sensor. The Load Save tab allows you to save a stream of sensor output data in a text file. It is also possible to save the register configuration in use and reload it at any time. The buttons on the left allow the visualization of sensor output data in both graphical and numeric format. They are also used to evaluate advanced features embedded in our devices. After clicking the Start button, we can test our sensor, in this case an iNEMO module, by simply moving the board. Acceleration and angular rate variations along X, Y, and Z axes are shown in real time as numerical data. You can also see the evolution over time using the plot tool. Each curve represents a different axis. By pressing the interrupt button, you can display a list of programmable interrupts. For example, click on wake up on interrupt one and you'll simulate a function commonly used in mobile phones. When you move the board, you wake it up. Now let's test the 6D function. The teapot you see on the top of the screen is real-time oriented by the software based on the movement of the sensor along six axes. The embedded 6D position detection feature we're demonstrating right now is commonly used to determine the screen orientation of portable devices. Unico has a FIFO tool that can configure the first-in, first-out data buffer embedded in the device, indicating both numerical data and the corresponding graph. All the available FIFO modes can be configured. The FFT tool displays the fast Fourier transform of the output data. The tool shows both time domain plot and the frequency domain plot for each axis. If Unico is used in combination with a magnetometer, you can evaluate additional functionalities. By clicking on the scatter plot button, you will now visualize the scatter plot of magnetometer data and evaluate the quality of sensor calibration. Now we can see an example of a compass application that combines accelerometer and magnetometer output data. Rotating the board, the GUI shows the heading of the compass. The embedded algorithm measures the magnetic field using the magnetometer data and compensates for the board inclination using the accelerometer data. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the Unico GUI. To download the software, go to the page www.st.com slash steval-mki109v2, open the Design Resources tab, and click on the Unico software package for your operating system to download the package. In the root directory, you'll find the setup file to install the GUI. The software package includes the following directory structure. Firmware contains the source code of the firmware of the eMotion board together with the corresponding binary file that can be flashed to the board using the DFU software. Driver contains the installation package for the USB drivers needed to connect the eMotion board to the PC. No driver is needed on Linux and Mac OS platforms, 
so this directory is included in the Windows installation package only. DFU contains the .dfu files and the installation package for the software needed to upgrade the firmware of the eMotion board. With Unico, you can speed up the evaluation of your application. For more information, please visit our website, www.st.com steval mki 109 v 2